Hi everyone, I'm Dick Beardsley with Dick Beardsley Fishing Guide Service and Fish House Rentals, and it's time now for our weekly visit Bemidji, Bemidji Area Fishing Report. Well folks, I've got a jigging rod in my right hand, I've got a rattle reel going behind me here, and about an hour and a half ago when I first got out to the house and opened it up, I'm telling you, I couldn't keep up. I finally just took the rattle reel and, and uh, and spooled it back up because I was going back and forth, back and forth. The perch bite was going crazy, honest to gosh. Now, in the last hour, I haven't marked a fish. That's kind of the way it's been all winter long. These perch tend to come in waves, but for some reason, now, maybe if I had my underwater camera on and I could look down there, maybe there's a big old pike hanging around down there or a big muskie or something like that because I haven't marked anything on the locator at all, but I gotta show you. I caught some dandies and I, I just put them in a bucket here. Let's get them, I'll get them in my hand here. And um, yeah, and I'm gonna let these go. I had perch the other night, but these are you know pretty gosh darn nice perch. And they were coming in. I mean, I would drop that, that Northland Glow Shot spoon down with a minnow head on there and they were coming up as it was coming down the water column aggressively and just whacking that thing. And then all of a sudden, boom, nothing. Hey, but that's fishing. Now folks, we'll put those back in the bucket. So this Sunday, the 25th of February, is the last day that you can uh, catch walleyes and northern pike here in most of the state of Minnesota. Now, if you're up on Lake of the Woods on the Canadian uh, Minnesota border there, that season runs into April. And we don't have to have our fish houses off here in northern Minnesota until the 20th of March. But you know what, folks? I took one of my houses off last week because the road going out got flooded because of the heavy snow out on the ice. And we had about six, seven inches of snow yesterday and we got more coming and big winds. So I'm getting my houses off in the next day or two just to make sure because last year I waited and waited and waited and Brady, my cameraman, and four or five other guys helped me and um, we had to chop them out of the ice with a jackhammer, chainsaws, jacks. You don't want to do that and I don't want to go through that again either. But um, so you, you can still fish obviously for perch, that's a continuous season. And um, you know, there's crappies and the bluegills and sunfish, things like that. But bass, pike, and um, the walleye season closes at midnight on Sunday the 25th. Folks, I might have misspoken. The 25th is a Saturday. The season for walleye, pike, and bass closes at midnight on the 26th, so almost the 27th, so don't forget about that. Now also, on Saturday, the 25th, it's the big Birchmont Bash and Ice Fishing Derby. It starts at noon out from Rutgers Resort on the northwest side of beautiful Lake Bemidji. The Derby goes from 12 to three. There's over $40,000 in prizes, but the real fun starts after that. They're gonna have a big tent out on the ice. They've got bands playing starting Friday night into Saturday night. Gonna be lots of fun. So if you're looking for something to do this weekend and the weather looks a little bit warmer than it is today, uh, it should be lots of fun. So, hey folks, still get out there. You can do some fishing. As we get into, uh, into March, the Tuluwe bite usually gets going real good. And don't forget about the much beloved eel pout. And please remember to practice selective harvesting. By doing so, we'll continue to have great fishing for years to come. I'm Dick Beardsley with Dick Beardsley Fishing Guide Service and Fish House Rentals. Have a safe, fun time on the ice.